uh, the youth side of things. Um, Wayne Evans is about to leave, I understand, and Bernard McNally to, uh, to come in. First of all, on the incoming front, Bernard, a, a, a man you gave a league debut to all those years ago. Happy to have him back on board. Well, I think uh, we'll, we'll reverse that and I'll start with Wayne Evans. Uh, you know, I'd just like to thank him for his service for the club. He's decided that um, uh, he wanted to move on. So the job came up and uh, uh, there was an application from Bernard. Uh, he's got a very good CV with his experience in management, his experience in youth football, and uh, he's, he's got that enthusiasm you need for somebody coming in to, uh, to take the job. It's not a nine to five job. They put a lot of hours in, a lot of unsociable hours. And, uh, but he wanted that challenge and uh, I thought he was an ideal candidate for it. So I think it's really good news that we've got somebody of that calibre to head our youth coaching. Local man as well, it helps, doesn't it, having that affinity for the club? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously started his career here and uh, and did very well for, for this club, as he as he did throughout his playing career, whichever uh, club he played for or uh, or then ultimately managed. So we've uh, I'm, I'm pleased with that appointment. Is he one of the best midfield players you had here in, in your first spell? He was certainly in the top dozen. <laughs> Praise indeed. <laughs> uh, the, the, the youth set up generally, Graham, I know it's important to you, isn't it? It's important to the club, isn't it, to keep investing in that? Well, I think there's, uh, when you look through the first team, that uh, the four we've got playing fairly regularly with Connor Golson, Ryan Woods, uh, Tom Bradshaw and uh, John Taylor, they've all come through the youth. We've got uh, players being called up for international duty, Dom Smith, Callum Burton, We've got uh, younger schoolboys training regularly with the with the pros. Uh, Harry Lewis, uh, goalkeeper, um, Ken Mullern's grandson, looks an outstanding prospect. So you've got to be bringing players through, and uh, the whole system of youth football has changed over the last couple of years. Uh, the Premier League and the FA have come up with uh, the elite player performance plan, which the football league clubs have been forced to accept. Uh, it is uh, categorising clubs in accordance with their setup, with the facilities, their, uh, the staff, uh, and it is a very intense uh, examination of, of the youth uh, setup before you get your uh, category. We've just had ours last week where there was interviews for uh, myself, uh, Michael Jackson as development coach, all the youth staff. Um, and then we go to uh, uh, the inspectors, go and watch the youth team play, go and watch the, uh, the younger teams play at Lillishaw, uh, watch training and really examine it. So that's all been done now, we're just awaiting uh, confirmation that we've got Category 3, which we'll be pleased with. But it's, it's a very expensive item, it's probably £100,000 worth on our bill, as well as uh, £200,000 from, uh, from the football uh, authorities. So you're looking at a youth policy that's costing well in excess of 300000 So you've got to be producing players. It's not, it's not a bonus when you get players through to your first team, it's a must. And if we're investing that sort of money in our youth policy, you've got to get the odd one through now and again. 